Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is Manic Monday. The Combine is open. And now teams begin the process of doing business. You know, we've heard some things like Justin Jefferson could be on the trade block. Uh, the Eagles are working on getting more cap room, even though they've got $27 million to work with. Um, they're looking at bringing back Hassan Reddick and things. And we're still waiting here on the Joneses. For whatever reason, the Joneses always seem to be the last to do anything. You know, there's the old saying, the early bird gets the worm. And see, this is what I don't understand. You know, I've had different discussions today with friends and followers and things like that where, you know, I'm, I'm the target. I'm the target that's taking shots because they say it's just the garbage-ass quarterback. And I had a great conversation with Wade, Walker Wade. And his thing was, we just got to get rid of Dak because, you know, we've gotten first-round talented quarterbacks before and won Super Bowls with them. But I said, yeah, but along with those quarterbacks, we had great teams that went along with them. When I look at the talent that we have right now in comparison to the overwhelming talent that we had back with those teams, when you look at the Hall of Famers, they're not apples to oranges comparing the talent that we have now versus that. Now, I get it. We lost to Green Bay. And Green Bay, in my mind, we had as good a talent as Green Bay. I think, quite frankly, they slept on Green Bay. They were on such a high after beating Washington and getting the number two seed and constantly hearing about, oh, they're going to win. You know, listen, Cowboys, they're unbeatable at home. They're unbeatable at home. And they got it in their head that all we have to do is play at home and we're going to, you know, win. We had Sam Williams and crew sitting here, you know, making plans for the post victory party. They counted the victory before the game even happened. And Green Bay came in and they punked them. They bitch slapped them. And they bowed down. They just did. That was overlooking a team and figuring you're just better than them. All we got to do is show up. And that's what happened in that game. Forget this, we were tired or, or it was the scheme or anything else. No, you did not have the hunger that Green Bay did. We just didn't. And maybe that's not the right personnel. Maybe it's not the right, not the right coaches. But you need somebody that's out there in people's faces firing people up. But what I don't understand here, and you know, because somebody, it may have been Wade, said you can't amass the talent like we did back in the 90s. And I beg to differ because the Cowboys have to be the worst ones in the NFL to manage the cap. The Cowboys have done absolutely, positively nothing in free agency. Nothing. The only trade they made was for Amari Cooper. Well, they did Stephon Gilmore and Brandon Cooks, but those are... You know, those are bottom tier trades. I mean, that's not any bigger than what you did with the Eagles to move up to take Biotis a few years ago. Those are minor moves. I'm talking about major moves. I'm talking about like where the 49ers make a trade for a guy like Christian McCaffrey. Okay? They make a trade to get Trent Williams. They make trades to get Chase Youngs. Okay? We don't do those things. But somehow... We are in bad cap shape in comparison. Now, I'm not going to say the 49ers are in great shape, but they're only $5 million, um, over the cap as opposed to us being $9 million. And they've gone out and gotten players. What did we do? This is the one that really blows my mind away. Now, because you can say, well, the 49ers, they're not paying the quarterback, so that's why they were able to do it. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. Until you sit there and think that the Eagles have $32 million more than the 49ers and they just paid their quarterback. Think about that, guys. 
the eagle sitting here as we sit here right now have $37 million more cap room than we do. Think about when you say you can't amass talent and try and win a Super Bowl. Isn't that exactly what the Eagles did? Didn't they trade for A.J. Brown? Didn't they bring in guys like Namakatsu? Didn't they make trades for, you know, DeAndre Swift and guys like that? Didn't they, aren't they constantly bringing in more guys and building their team? And they paid their quarterback this past year, what, $51 million? Here it is, we're talking about, well, we can't, we can't do anything because we, 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 we got to sign Dak. And we signed Dak, you know, we ain't got no money. How is it the Eagles bought their way to a Super Bowl the season before and they have $37 million of space to spend without making a single restructuring? And they will restructure players because they will have more money to spend on trying to get better. How is it after the Rams won the Super Bowl? Stephen Jones said, you know, we don't believe that's the way you build a team with all the free agents and stuff. Wait a minute. Didn't they go to a Super Bowl a couple years before and lose? And they traded and got Matthew Stafford. They ended up going through and bringing in Odell Beckham Jr. and uh, traded for Von Miller. They went all in and won a Super Bowl, right? We're a playoff team this year, and somehow they got $39 million in cap space. We keep hearing that you know, you got to build for the future. So wait a minute. The Rams weren't doing the right way. The Rams weren't doing it the right way, but they won a Super Bowl. Two years later, they're in the playoffs and they have $48 million more cap space than you do. Am I the one that's crazy here? Where the where, where's the money? Where's the money? This is where everybody else is playing 3D chess. And I think we're playing tiddlywinks. It's not even checkers. The Cowboys are the worst when it comes to the salary cap. And I can tell you why. It's because they wait till the last damn minute to make contracts. If you make the contract sooner, one, there's attrition that'll happen. And this is why, you know, you hear KD Drummond sitting there saying, well, the Cowboys have more time. They don't have to sign Dak now. You think he's going to get cheaper down the road next year? Oh, that's right. He could just walk away. And then you got nothing other than $36 million more in dead money because you suck at the salary cap. You suck at the salary cap. You just do. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're going to sit here and pay Zeke Elliott again this year. Why? Because you suck at the salary cap. Because you waited on Zeke Elliott and had him hold out and you got to desperation time because it's the beginning of the season when you shouldn't have paid a running back after year four. You don't. They go downhill. And you obliterate the market. And then you take dead money. You take on dead money for Lyle Collins. We're paying Lyle Collins dead money last year. You took on. Here, here's what's really crazy. You know what's crazy? We decided, huh, Amari Cooper's too expensive. Let's get rid of him and just get a fifth round draft pick. Okay. All right. A fifth. The Eagles give up a first for A.J. Brown. We get a fifth for Amari Cooper. Okay. But to make it even worse, this is what's even worse. We took on a $13 million dead hit to get rid of him. You know what the Browns paid him that year? $4.8 million. 
$4.8 million. And we turn around and we spend $13 million a year for Michael Gallup, who's got a bad leg. We suck at the salary cap. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And here it is. They're dicking around with Dak Prescott's contract. We're going to wait till the last minute, and they're going to sign a deal that's going to be effed up. You can believe that because you got cat boy, Stephen Jones, who's here running this daddy's business and don't know shit. <laughs> I'm just looking at this, and I'm just amazed that these teams... You know, the Buccaneers, they won a Super Bowl a few years ago. $44 million. All these teams that have gone through, gone through, won a Super Bowl, got bad, and now are better, playoff team again, and more cap money than we do. Yeah. Somebody deserves to be fired. All right, good people. Mm. This is depressing. This is just depressing when you think about it. Just remember, tell the people you love how much you love them. Because you might not get the chance again, good people, and I love you. Peace out.